Sour Mash Technique Moonshine Episode Episode E17 Sour mash refers to a technique in fermenting is applicable to any corn whiskey, corn mash, bourbon, scotch, and even sake which are mentioned in earlier episodes. In this technique, fresh yeast is not added for each batch of fermentation, but a small fraction of the previous batch of fermentation is added to the fermentation vessel. This way is very similar to how sour bread yeast is used. Therefore, if a sour mash is planned, a prior fermentation must have been done, and one cup of the fermented liquid must have been preserved, or frozen. For any sour mash, the procedure of work is identical up to the point of adding fresh yeast. But instead of adding the fresh yeast, the one cup of the preserved old mash is to be added. This cycle without using fresh yeast can be repeated if sour mash is well preserved. The best way of preserving sour mash is to freeze in a freezer unless the sour mash is used immediately. Frozen mash can be effective even after a year. The sour mash technique can save the cost of buying sake yeast if sake yeast is needed frequently, because sake yeast number 7 and number 11 are both expensive. There are two alternative approaches. One is to preserve, or freeze, a small amount of previous mash, like one cup. Another is to use the sake kasu, or sake li, instead of mash. Kake kasu is the white substance left in the brew mesh bag after fermented sake is pressed in the bag. This method is equally effective and good. But do not use the sake li sold in Japanese food market as a source of sake yeast because the sake li sold in the market never works. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you soon again.